Hello Divine Flames, welcome to my channel. Now, this video is about steps to create an ascension tower. Now, before we even learn about that, let me quickly talk about spiritual ascension. What is spiritual awakening? What is it? Well, since you have been guided to watch this video, it is quite apparent either you're already spiritually awakened or you're going through the process of awakening and you may or may not be aware of it. But as you're watching this video, this surely suggests that you are on a blissful path of spiritual ascension. We all have moments in our lives when a light bulb goes off in our heads. It's a moment of clarity and understanding we simply did not see before. We sit in silence thinking about how this moment will change our lives. We ponder how we could have not have seen this realization that was in front of our eyes the whole time. But these moments of understanding can come to us for a variety of reasons. Sometimes they occur to us for no reason at all. Many people have seen these moments of clarity after losing a loved one or after a near-death experience or after their unexpected relationship endings or even falling in arrest. We tend to realize after these incidents that we had not appreciated the things that matter most in our lives. We promise ourselves to spend more time with the children, be a better spouse, or to make time to go fishing with the grandpa before it is too late. It is hard for us during these times to understand how we did not recognize what we were missing before. Perhaps work had been too demanding, we spent too much time preoccupied with the relationship problem, or maybe we were just lazy and wasted our days watching television. We let these things consume us and steal all the joy out of our life. Now with a new found outlook on life, we set out and we determined to make a change. For the first time in a long time, we are optimistic and happy about life. Now as we embark on this new journey and a conscious decision to ascend spiritually, I would suggest creating an ascension tower around your house, home, or dwelling to help bring peace, harmony, and support for you every day of your life for as long as you live. All right, let's look at the steps to creating an ascension tower. Step number one, planning. Consider deeply your motivation for doing this and your commitment to action. Make a target date. You can do it any day you want, but typically, New Moon is considered to be the most lovely day for manifesting the special tar ritual. Why New Moon Day? The New Moon brings us the energy of new beginnings, and it's a perfect time to manifest something in your life. Ascension tar ritual performed on a New Moon Day is an effective way to help you focus on what is that you are wanting to manifest. You're announcing to the universe that you're ready for your intentions to come to you. So pick a new moon day if you can and hold a sacred ceremony for yourself and include your family if they're willing. If not, it's okay. You are on your journey and your own spiritual ascension will benefit everyone around you. Step number two. Forgiveness. In order to move forward, we must deal with our stuff. And these are the things that are keeping us stuck. Forgiveness is the golden key to unlock the doorway of the future. I suggest going on a forgiveness walk in nature and say out loud the following prayer for forgiveness. Use your own words, of course. You can start with I, take your name. Forgive myself first and foremost for every mistake I have ever made. We all make mistakes and I have made my share. Here and now, I forgive myself, love myself, and I am letting go of any self-recommendation, sadness, guilt. Instead, I will now look at these past events as growth opportunities that I learned from. I forgive my parents and step-parents for any reason that you think they need forgiveness for. So take that reason. I forgive my siblings for, I forgive my childhood friends for and teachers for, I forgive my spouse, my partner for, 
I forgive my children for, I forgive my exes for, I forgive my colleagues and bosses for, I forgive my peer friends for, I forgive religious leaders and God for, I forgive world leaders for, I forgive anyone who has ever hurt a woman, man, child or animal. I forgive anyone who has ever abused me for. And then, as the whole flame of transmutation to allow forgiveness to flow from me to them, and send each person above light and love on their journey. I release all energy codes from me to them and them to me and fill the space with love. I will no longer dwell on past mistakes and transgressions and instead will pour my energy into my own ascension process. Step number three, cleaning and clearing. In advance of the ascension tower ceremony, Physically clean your home and perform an energy clearing in the space using drumming or sage walking from room to room. First, set the intention and ask your guides and infinite spirit of light and love, the Creator, God, whoever you pray to, to help with this clearing. Step 4. Charge your two amethysts and quartz crystals in your own altar. Set the intention that these crystals help you create an ascension tower on your property. Visualize your home being connected to the crystals caverns in old school, anchoring your home. Visualize the top of the ascension tower, bringing your home the most beautiful high frequency energy from the higher realm. Pray over your crystals, visualizing the ascension tower, connecting your home, your sacred space to the earth, and the highest frequency of the higher realm only. Step 5. Ascension Tower Ceremony But at the dawn on the day you have chosen, preferably your new moon day, so on a new moon day, light a candle and sit in front of your own sacred altar or in a sacred space and ask your guides to help you create your very own ascension tower on your property, on your body. Step number six, go out and bury. Using your own GPS or compass on your phone to get the north, east, south, and west directions for each of the stones. Now use the following script or modify it to suit you. Face to the north and say, I bury this quartz crystal to help my home be a sacred space and temple, nourishing me and my family, including my pets, on a spiritual development path. May this quartz crystal energetically connect with the crystals deep inside Mother Earth. I ask the water flame to transmute any negative energy to light and love and provide a conduit of ascension for me and my family. Now to the east, say, I bury this amethyst crystal to help me and all who dwell or visit my home receive the light of the sun reminding us of the golden light of creation and the fresh beginning it brings to each new day. May we continue to evolve physically, spiritually and emotionally on this journey. May we find strength and silence, new adventures around every corner and peace and harmony in my home. To the south, I bury this cause crystal to honor and receive the warm winds of the south May the sacred crystal remind me of the heat of passion that burns in my heart, warming me during the dark times in life. I am reminded of the strength of the South to go within and be rejuvenated by the inner light of my ascension tower. To the West I bury this amethyst crystal to set the intention to receive the cleansing waters of the earth, reminding me to stay in the flow of life. The West brings water, river, lakes and oceans as a reminder to stay in the flow, regularly clear and cleanse to refresh my energy. Welcome the sustaining, life-sustaining waters of life into my ascension tower to bring me to higher planes, yet protected and buffeted by the sacred tower. And then, ask Archangel Michael to protect the sacred side. With a heart full of gratitude and love, I thank my guides and infinite spirit for bringing me here 
to this place of understanding the light and radiance I can break forth and share with the world, illuminating my path and the path for others. May the star only be open for my highest and best and that of my family. May it be closed when I ask it to close. Thank you, Divine Mother and Holy Father of the Universe for allowing me to be the most brilliant I am. Hope this video helps you guys. If you want to share your stories about your spiritual ascension or your experience, please share your comments below. Lots of love and light to you. Have a beautiful life.